All right, so I'm back out at Tall Timbers and we're checking on the simulated nests. The first two week trial that we did, we lost three of the 12 nests. And now I'm gonna check the rest of the nest to see what happens. Right now I'm in the two year return interval. You can see the nesting structure here behind me is in pretty good shape. You can see the camera was focused right here on the eggs. And it looks like uh, all the eggs made it on this one. So now I'm checking the one year return interval. You can see the structure wasn't nearly as good for nesting cover. And lo and behold, no sign of eggs. They all got eaten from this site. Two year structure next to the three year and now i've got to go in there to see what's happened you can see the structure to hide a nest in here is much better than it was in that one year Dang it. it's tough having to walk through all this and then find the camera that which we couldn't mark because we don't want to show potential predators where the eggs are. Well, there's our camera. And whether you can see them or not, our eggs are right there. So obviously the structure in here is much better for nesting cover for a hen, turkey at least. And uh, those eggs appear to still be there, still in good shape. Yep, still intact. So now it's early June. This was burned in March. You can still see the structure is really good for a poult when they need it. Still a lot of bare ground present in here and a lot of good forbs responding to that fire. This one's a, another three year, you can see uh, structure isn't quite as good in here because of the lack of sunlight. In here I'm looking at the camera and where I think the nest was, something must have got it. Let's look on the footage. Yeah, you're almost to it. Yeah, I'm here. It's really hard to get around in these three-year return intervals. Man, it's hot enough being out here trying to check these nests. Glad I don't have to sit on it. So this is a two year here on this productive soil. You can see the structure in here, it's still pretty solid for nesting. You can see quite a bit of shrub structure already in this. It was burned last March, so a year ago, in a few months. So I'm guessing that uh, since the structure in here is pretty good, we probably still have eggs. See, I'm approaching it here. Pretty good structure. We randomly located those. And the eggs should be somewhere right in there. Don't see them currently. Well, apparently I was wrong. Don't see any sign of eggs. Let's see what got them. It's actually kind of remarkable, the ground cover in this treatment here. This has been burned every year, including this one, just a few months ago since 1959. Pretty crazy that it's still pretty good structure for a quail and for a poult. There's the camera, got the eggs. Let's see what happened. The eggs should be right down in there and I can see uh, something's been digging around up there. So I'm guessing they're not present anymore. Yep, you can see egg fragments here. Not very good structure for nesting. Pretty good for brooding, bad for nesting. Let's see what got it. So I've been walking in the briars. I guess I should have worn better britches. Not only am I tearing my britches, I'm also bleeding, literally. Dedication, this is what this is. Nesting study, get bloody. Now the 
weird thing is I've been doing this for like 20 years and I'm still like a kid coming down the stairs on Christmas morning for every single camera I go to. Pretty cool. All right, gotta go into the no burn. Hasn't been burned in over 60 years. And uh, I'm already getting bitten by insects like mosquitoes. And I uh, know that I'm gonna be getting ticks off of me, but it's all in the name of science. So you can see, it looks a lot like what a lot of the landscape looks like, unfortunately. And this is going to be tick infested. But we're gonna see how a nest would fare in this. It is easier to walk in at least and fairly easy to find the cameras because there's no vegetation obscuring your view. It's kind of the point. Here we are on the camera. Oh, over there. Looks like the eggs made it through on this one. You can see there are our eggs still in good shape. And honestly, it's not really the eggs I'm worried about in here. It's the hen. Think about if she's sitting on a nest in this. She is a sitting duck or a sitting hen in that case. Really easy to spot by a predator since the hen's survival is way more important. I'd be pretty concerned about her nesting in this. Walking in another one year just flush quail about made me jump out of my britches they almost let me step on them. see the camera right here again pretty good brooding cover structure not so good for nesting all right so i think this one is the egg treatment and the one year return interval oh yep look, look. oh wow Ooh. yeah so something you can see all the shell fragment something clearly got this nest there's our camera we should have it on that camera hey by the way if you're enjoying this and you want to see more of what's on these cameras go ahead and like this share it and follow for more of this content appreciate all the support all right this one so egg treatment and again the three year really good structure especially overhead one of the studies i've covered on instagram talked about overhead cover of the hen being really important probably because of avian predators you can see all four eggs still here and it's hard to believe in this two-year return interval there's already this much structure in here all right Two-year return interval. Let's see what happened. So in the two-year interval, still got all our eggs. All right. Fire suppressed again. Here's our camera coming up. Oh, looks like eggs are intact. I do love the quail woods. I think turkeys do too. 